Ladies and gentlemen, I hope your coffee is nice and piping hot because, ladies and gentlemen, in front of us is a tool organizer for your garden equipment. While we're opening this up, just like all my videos in the description box below, top link will be this exact same garden kit organizer. And this is perfect for getting your rakes and shovels and all your nonsense off the corners of the shed and organize it because cleanliness and organization Ladies and gentlemen, is the key to success. You have some nice drywall screws uh, and mounts. You can just use the screws, or if you put it in drywall, you can have little drywall plugs there as well. And an extended set. They sell it in a shorter set or an extended set. This set is the double length set. So check out that link below, top link once again, to see what set is gonna be more appropriate for you. So. You mount in your different mounting locations here and here. So up here at the top top, you have two mounting screws, mounting brackets there for your screws, one right in the middle, and then you have hooks right here. So this could actually double as a coat rack and maybe a cowboy hat, you know, your gardening hat, etc. And then these flip up and they actually flip up all the way if you want, but then they hook in like this for your gardening equipment, your shovels, etc. So each set has five hooks as we can see here, and they're all the exact same. Again, I have four of them because I got the long set, and this is what the back looks like right here and here. These are not removable if you are wondering, they are tack welded up here, but as you can see here, again, against the wall, you could just flip that up if you wanted to and then put your hat or jacket here, flip that down for your gardening equipment. Not much to it, but let's show you how it works. Because once again, I'm in a full remodel and organizing is the key to success, finding your tools and making it look good too. All right, folks, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gardening hooks up right here. As you all know, I'm in a full remodel and these are just kind of outbuildings. In the meantime, it does stay dry enough in here where I can store a bunch of stuff while I'm doing my remodel. So we're gonna go ahead and put all four pieces up here and this should be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick measurement so I can go ahead and line the whole entire side here. Okay, now I'm actually going to be mounting them up here, but you should be mounting it on a sturdy stud, a piece of frame piece, some wood like this here. This is just the back side of some really high end siding. That's old, but it works. And I just want it off the floor behind us. I have taller ones here, so you should be installing it right on there or there to obviously if you want them off the ground make sure that you mount them appropriately. I do have some as well on the sides here, but for this purpose, we'll be mounting them a little bit higher on the low end of this out shed. And we're just gonna tack them up with some screws, making sure it is level and making sure it's level. And you can pre-drill if you want to. So again, it's just three screws. And I'm using different ones than the one that it came with just because this is temporary. And then we're just gonna start with the next one right next to it, making sure it's level. Screw this one in, work our way down to number four. All right, last screw. Boom, start to finish. Obviously, if this was in your garage, you might have to do drywall hooks, but I mean, five minutes, nice and secure. Three screws in each panel, four panels total, what I personally got. So. Now it's time to load this thing up. Also, something that you can see is that even though this is behind this, this is just a two by four here, the hooks will come out enough where it's not gonna interfere with this. It might shove it forward just a little bit, but most of you will have a dry flat wall in your shop, shed, garage, etc. Again, my circumstances are a little bit different with this outbuilding here. Here's my puppy if you saw her come in. All right, let's load this thing up. All right, let's talk you through it. So we've got a lot of heavy items hooked up, but remember they're all individual. So definitely use the appropriate hardware, drywall hooks, or just the screws for studs. But we have a very heavy, let me show you this one, very heavy pick here. And with some of these, I'm gonna get some close-up shots in just a second here. With some of these, go ahead and hook it in like this here. So what's happening is all the weight is distributed evenly and it's not going anywhere. It's not slipping on you. But then like the chainsaw here, I went around the hook, shovel, and then some of these bigger items, if they can't fit 
up top. Then you're gonna have to flip them around. Then for the really long ones here, you might have to flip it upside down or right side up, whatever way you wanna think of it, and then clip it in like this. And then this hole digger here, I actually had to go underneath and lock it in underneath as we can see here. And then the rake here was able to hook in. Snow shovel has to go that direction. And then tree pruners, as you can see, kind of went through the middle area there. Or you can obviously hang things on these little hooks here as well. Or of course these hooks and these again go up top or down below, however you want to hook them here. So as we can see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, including electric chainsaw. And there is room. Uh, many more hooks available. I'm just running out of equipment to show you. Well, overall, a very simple product, but get your items off the ground. I have these sitting outside. Now I can actually prevent them from getting cobwebs, dust, debris, out building here. Well, overall, the product is a thumbs up in my book. Once again, top link in the description box below will be these exact same tool, garden tool organizers. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on your way out, helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this as well as my full remodel being completed. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.